morning everyone welcome back to the channel it is a glorious saturday morning sun is absolutely belting down 24 25 degrees today absolutely fantastic couldn't be any better uh yeah welcome back to the channel haven't had any videos up over the last few weeks just been pretty busy with other stuff going on and wasn't that awfully much exciting going on on the farm anyway we've had a lot of rain uh, which stopped us from getting some of our jobs and work done uh, we've still got some hay to make we've our harvest to do which we're actually doing today uh, so hopefully getting the, the winter barley all cut today between today and tomorrow um, yeah we've silage to make second cut silage as well so all these jobs are kind of, we're kind of on a standstill because we've just had so much rain last two and a half three weeks it's kind of been raining couple of days maybe three days you might get one dry day and then back to the rain again so it's just been horrendous for the time of year it's just been horrendous so it's not not what we want or uh, it's not it's not walking that we can get our work done or it's not walking out that we can get our work done um but we have been doing other things uh the likes of this shed here has been readied uh, this is where we're going to put all our uh, straw in so we've gotten that ready uh, other things that has been going on we've uh, washed uh, most of the yard here around the corner where the grain is going to be tipped uh, that has all been cleaned up so there has been there has been plenty of bits of work going on but i just didn't bother just didn't bother videoing it so uh but yeah gonna get a couple of videos now over the next couple of days of the harvest going on uh yeah be some random videos now whatever i can get i'm actually going dad's way out now to uh, as you've seen in the first part of this video you've seen him driving off uh, with the the two trailers hitched together uh, he's way out now to uh, start on the barley uh, so he'll be drawing some of the barley back so if i get a bit of footage of him coming in maybe with a load i'll put that up uh, i'll be drawing in a few bales of hay i probably won't bother uh, putting up any footage of that but what i will be doing it'll be this video will be mostly about harvest so uh, i'll head off i'll get some footage later on of the of the combine working and uh yeah, just if we chat about how it's doing, how it's yielding. Don't expect the yields to be great, uh, because, yeah, they're just not going to be great. It's just around here, yields are ranging from about two ton to something just over three ton. That's what I'm hearing from everybody. Straw yields are back back down, they're down by about half as well. So this is all due to the, the drought uh, earlier on in the year, the spring, around the springtime when we had no rain when it was needed. Um, so we're seeing the knock-on effect of that now with poor yields and it's nothing you can do it's just the way it is so anyway uh yeah next part of this video you will see maybe it'll well, probably be grain coming into the yard i would say and then uh when i get to the field uh, there'll be some footage of the combine walking and we'll do a bit of a chat on how things is going uh, at that point so we'll see you in a few minutes
Okay, so we've moved on to the, the harvest team, if you like. Uh, hay is all back at the shed, uh, so that's that done and dusted. Um, yeah, just on the way back down now with a load of grain. This is the first, the first load that I've carted down. I've kind of come in at the end. There's only a couple of hours of the, the harvest left. Uh, you see there, it's a bit of footage I had off before this. Uh, yeah, we're getting on well. We're in the last field, so say about an hour or so, should see it finished. But yeah, getting on well. The conditions is ideal. Uh, moisture is running around. Uh, we tested the first plot of land we done. We tested early on. It was around 18 percent, and I'd say it probably went down a bit from bad. Even it's so warm and dry today. Um, yield in that first in the first field that was done. Uh, it was yielding, uh, I'd say, around two and a half tons per acre. Uh, this is yielding slightly less now. Uh, this next 19 acres in the next plot that we're doing, uh, I'd say it's going to yield somewhere between two and two and a half. We won't know exactly if we get our train treated, uh, treated early, treated, treated early next week. Um, and we know exactly then that the wear on the on the the roll off. So yeah, we have a good idea then exactly what what weight, uh, what tonnage we'll have out of it, but yeah, we're, it's kind of been around where we thought it would be, so that's it. Um, so yeah, just going to pull into the yard now, we've tipped this load, um, yeah, we've head back off, but we'll see how we get on, uh, might be able to get another bit of footage, uh, we'll just see what happens once we get off there, so.
moved on to another job. Uh, got all the, the barley uh, carted back to the yard and that is all done. But uh, yeah, moved on to another job. It's about quarter past nine now. And we're heading out to load up. Uh, we've got about 600 small square bales of straw that we want to get off the ground tonight. Uh, reason being is that uh, we've, we're going to bale up the other 19 acres tomorrow. Uh, most of it probably in small square bales. And it'd be great to have these 600 loaded and out of the way. It'll just mean that it's a bit less for us to do tomorrow. So uh, we'll see how that all works out. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to take very much footage here now tonight. I might just run the, the camera for a minute or so. Just when I'm grabbing a few bales of straw and putting them on the trailer with the bale grab. Uh, but tomorrow's video will be more about baling and uh, small square baling, uh, round bales, maybe some round bales, and uh, yeah, loading some straw as well. So I'll get a bit of footage of all that tomorrow. Uh, so that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to hit the sub button, uh, leave a like on the video, comment down below, all that kind of stuff. And we'll see you in the next day or so with the next part of the harvest video.